Yo, what's going on YouTube? Wanted to show you guys my new brine shrimp uh, culture, I guess you can call it. And this one and a half gallon beverage dispenser, the same size I have my Kopi Pod culture in. Now, the water is a little green, and that's because about an hour and a half ago, I actually added some spirulina algae to it. And these guys are tearing that stuff up. I actually added some yesterday. And when I came in here this morning, I was looking at it. And I was like, wow, that container looks pretty clear. And I looked and I shined the flashlight into it. And I was just like, yeah, they tore that stuff up. So I added a little more today. And probably by tomorrow, it'll be clear again. So the reason why I do that is because, number one, that's one of the things that they will eat. And number two is because I want to raise the nutritional value of them. Now, I do have a mandarin goby in my aquarium now, as you guys saw in the last video. And um, normally people will say, oh, they eat kopi pods, they eat oh, kopi pods, they eat kopi pods. But they will also eat live brine shrimp, the little small guys. And some people say newly hatched brine shrimp are very, have a high nutritional value to them. But once they go past like the, you know, like a few days of being born, that sort of kind of goes away. So my thought process is the spirulina algae will increase their nutritional value. So as I add it to the tank, the mandarin will have something good for it to eat. Now, another thing that I want to do is I, I want to raise them all the way up to adulthood for my other fish and also for the mandarin because... I'm trying to train my Mandarin to eat uh, frozen foods. And so far, it's been a no-go. So my thought process is, and let me, guys, let me know what you guys think about this in the comment section. I'm going to continue to raise the brine shrimp all the way to adulthood. And if the Mandarin will eat them as little babies as they grow, and I continue to add them to the tank, he will continuously eat the brine shrimp up into adulthood and maybe once he's willing to eat adult brine shrimp maybe i could get him to eat frozen brine shrimp uh, you know adult brine shrimp and if i can get him to eat frozen adult brine shrimp then i can get him to eat frozen mice shrimp so that's my thought process who knows if that's going to work but we're going to see right so everything is going well now the water looks a little hazy because i also added a little bacteria to the culture just in case because I don't want the ammonia to like spike or anything like that but everything seems to be going a-ok -okay so far and what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to take a little cup the little cup that comes on top of the Red Sea AB plus if you guys are familiar with that I'm gonna take a cup full of that and add it to my aquarium and I'm gonna let you guys see how crazy the fish go so I'll see you at the tank all right, YouTube, before we go over to the tank, I just wanted to show you the brine shrimp in the little cup that I have here. You can see them moving around. All right, so let's head over to the tank and watch my fish go crazy. So I'm here at the 75 gallon aquarium and let's see how the fish react to the brine shrimp. Now I cut my fans off before I added them because I didn't want them to be blown all over the place. But I think the fish like the brine shrimp. <laughs> Are right, you two? See you guys next time.